Welcome back to Read With Me. Today we're going to be reading The Truth About Wind by Hazel Hutchins and Gail Herbert. Let's get started. The Truth About Wind. Jesse heard a creaking sound first. A wagon was moving along the path behind his yard. Shapes flickered beyond the fence. A man, a girl, someone little in the wagon. And one smaller shape that remained after the wagon had gone. Jesse peered between the boards, looking brightly back at him from the tall wild grasses was a horse a horse the color of a crow's wing so shiny and black no one was inside jesse coxed the horse with with clover and dandelions to the safety of his yard he built it a perfect stable behind the shed. Jessie's mother smiled when she came to put her gardening tools away. Where did you find this fine fellow? She asked. Grandma, Jessie answered quickly. He ru- he runs fast as he runs faster than any horse in the world. So I have named him Wind. Wind raced raced across the tabletop, praising praising and up all over all over the rolling cauliflower hill hills while Jesse ate supper. He leaped deep cannonballs and sailed above the tall waterfall while Jesse had 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 his bath. Jesse is having a wonderful time with the horse you gave him, Mother told Grandmother during their evening phone call. Other Grandma! Jesse calls as wind slides down the soapy slope. From an old box. For there had been a box once, although it had never held a shiny black horse. Uh oh. lying in bed with wind asleep on the pillow beside him, did Jesse begin to feel an uneasy feeling in his stomach. He pushed it away by telling the moon a true story of an entire kingdom of wild horses running as fast and as free as the wind. The leash is on his tongue. All, all all, that week, Wynne lived up to his name, galloping up the slide at, at the park, racing along the river path, and splashing through puddles at gorgeous, glorious speed. Jesse grew to love Wind more and more, but, an une- but the uneasy feeling grew stronger. Snack time, Jesse. Jesse suddenly told Wind at the grocery store. He carefully, he carefully tucked the horse and a lettuce leaf into the bottom of his backpack. At the library, where Wind galloped down the hall to send, to send a poster. On the message board fluttering, Jesse quickly turned back to the safety of the shelves. It's better here, explained Jesse. 
We can play hide and seek. Each day now, Jessie became more watchful. Jessie had decided there's a troll living under the bridge. Mother said with a sign on her evening phone, phone, phone call to grandmother. We had walked, we had to walk home the long way around. Then other grandma called. Mother handed Jessie the phone and whispered, Say thank you. Jessie had to think quickly. The box, Grandma, from a long time ago, you found a horse in it. Thank you. He handed the phone back to Mother and added, I had to remind her, you know how Grandma forgets things. But Wynne's head had lowered as Jessie spoke, and they could and they could no longer meet each other's eyes. At supper, Jessie found it hard to swallow the spaghetti he loved. All evening, his stomach was sore. You're happy here with me, aren't you, Wind? J asked asked Jessie at bedtime. Wind did not answer. Do you want to hear more about the kingdom of horses, Moon? Asked Jessie. The moon stayed silent in the sky. Where Jessie finally fell asleep, he dreamed his dreams broke into shifting pieces, like shapes flickering beyond the wooden fence. And in the quietest, darkest time of the night, Jesse found himself awake and thinking about where wind had really The next morning, even when Jesse offered berries from his cereal box, berries from his cereal box and built the most tempering race course around the milk carton, wind stood unmoving beside Jesse's cup. Your horse is very quiet today. What's wrong, Jessie? His mother's voice was gentle. But how could he ever explain? Not hungry, said Jessie, as he spilled and he spilled away to the backyard. He sat and sat and then far down the path came the creaking sound of the wagon it had been the mo there it had been there most mornings but jesse had pretended not to hear it this time however he turned to wind and said you hear it too don't you he already knew the answer. Jesse gave Wind one enormous last hug. He hurried to the fence and forced himself to hold the horse as far as he could towards the people on the path. A single world word rang into the air. Midnight! And look. He's all tied up with the rope, like his emotions. It was a name so perfect and said with such joy that Jessie's sadness and confusedness already fell away. The girl ran forward and s forward. You found my horse. You found Midnight. And the shiny black horse, dark as midnight, fast as wind, 
Isn't that a nice story? It tells that you should always give something back to the, the, the kids who had it. You shouldn't just keep it. Thank you for reading with me. I hope to see you next time. Bye.